It is just a prolonged crisis. Good morning, welcome to the dissertation vlog. I know I've spoken about my dissertation a lot in other videos and stuff, but like, this is it. This is, this is the week. It's the second today, it is due on the seventh. I guess to get you up to speed, I have 7,000 words. I have a large chunk of my secondary reading done. I've read both of my primary books now. I actually um, literally just finished reading Juliet. Well, Juliet is a thousand pages long, so I have committed myself only to the first volume and that was 200 pages, which I think is like a reasonable amount. I could have read the other volume as well, but we didn't have time, basically. I only essentially learned about Juliet through doing Sard's Justine, and only then did I have the massive brainwave that they are so similar and that she would be the perfect comparison to Roxana. A very late brainwave, so I kind of did what I could with that. If you're new, hello, my name is Emma. I'm currently writing my dissertation. Well, I'm, I'm finishing it. That's kind of what the mindset. I've written most of it, actually, to finish it and like prove my points with evidence and then that's, that's really kind of it and then I need to write up together it's done. So hello my name is Emma, I'm finishing my comparative literature undergraduate degree at King's College London and I am pumped! I am so excited for this to be done! Don't get me wrong, I've adored my degree, I really love my dissertation but I just want to be done. I just I think it's because it is the end. If I had another year, I wouldn't be very bothered, right? Like, that kind of mentality, but I'm like, I just want it to be over. Especially because I'm a creative at heart. This is my kind of creativity. I film it, I edit it, that is, that is me. So the amount of like pent up creative energy I have right now, can't wait. As you see this, just know that this Emma right now, well, not this Emma, this Emma needs to do work, but the Emma that you are seeing is probably just like on her bed on the dog editing and is very happy about it but now I need to go in my bed just write. No, I'm going to try and write as much as I can at my desk. I actually want to like not fuck up my degree which is a funny, fun, fun, fun thought. The other day I had an essay and an exam on the same day. The essay I think was really good but it's because I also was banking my marks in the essay rather than in the exam because uh, I'm also, if you knew it, I'm also very dyslexic. I can't do exams. It was a three hour, 45 minute exam. I get 15%, 25% extra time. I wrote four pages an hour. That's all I can do. I can't do any more than that. So I hope, I hope it wasn't bad. <laughs> I hope, hope that doesn't hinder me too much. So I finally finished reading Juliet because I've done it electronically. I've now sent my notes to my laptop. So I'm basically gonna open them together and then I'm gonna write up all of the relevant notes. And because I essentially have my idea and my structure of my essay so down, that I know exactly what to look for. I can only basically type up the ones that are relevant. The annoying thing is with the essay I just wrote, it was a neoclassic neoclassical essay. It was a um, Moliere, and I was essentially talking about the correction of like manners for you, like ridicule and all that kind of stuff. And that was very, that was interesting. But because I didn't have my idea in my head when I started typing up things, I basically did too much of that work, and it's so labour intensive. It just takes so much time. So I was kind of like, oh. I've done all of it. I basically lost a lot of time for nothing. I always have a graveyard document, again, if you're new. I would first recommend watching this video if you're looking for dissertation advice on like how to write an essay. But because I always have my graveyard and my actual essay open, I ended up with about 3,000 words in my graveyard, which meant that I'd cut 3,000 words from my actual 4,000 word essay, meaning that I wrote double than I was supposed to. So I'm setting myself a limit of my dissertation if I refuse to write any more than 12,000 words. I can write 500 extra words, but that's it, okay. Because it's a beautiful day outside that I don't get to enjoy. Like, it's been painful all of April. Hey, April went like that, I don't know where it went. And then also, oh my God, it's such nice weather, I wanna go outside, but I can't. And so the quick summary of what my dissertation is on, it is Roxana and Juliet, cost of a woman's power. It's Defoe's Roxana and Sard's Juliet. I will leave some Wikipedia links of like summaries to them 
down there if you want to like have any context of what I'm actually talking about. I'm looking at the ways that they acquire and then exercise any power that they can have um, and it's mainly what I found is mainly through sex as predominantly a mistress. A lack of marriage, interestingly, is they both av avoid it like the plague and then motherhood and the fact that they reject that outright and then very much through money. For them, money is everything. I think that is how like they measure their worth is their value is very much tied up in their financial... Basically, they project themselves onto their money and they estimate that, like, kind of like we still do now, that, like, if you have more money, you are intrinsically worth more as a person. And also the power and the influence that comes with money, I think they very, very much want that, which I think then does tie into, like, a traditional male idea of what then, like, power is. And it's like, ooh, are these women being cast into, like, male structures of power? And then it comes back to, like, Mary Beard's Women and Power, we should read that. Um, not very long but like how even now are we trying to hammer women into male ideals and structures of power or do we need to change the entire structure of power so that it fits both the masculine and the feminine kind of interpretations of power which i think is really interesting so yeah it's relevant today if you can tie links to your dissertation to being relevant today especially if you're doing arts and hums and you're going historic that is i guess in a nutshell what my dissertation is it's really helpful for me to talk about it and then hear myself talk about it back to me because then it kind of reaffirms my ideas and I understand what I'm talking about. So I guess a little bit of dis dissertation advice would be record yourself talking and summarising about your dissertation. If you listen back to it you'll hear when it's wrong and you'll hear when it's right. I'm gonna run errands, actually have some fresh air and vitamin D and then you're gonna have time lapses galore. <laughs> So I ran my errands. What I'm gonna do now is I'm basically just gonna copy up quotes, just if I have all the quotes, so that I'm not trying to still look for like loads and loads of secondary reading, because honestly, at this point, that secondary reading would be the sprinkle on top of the cake. Now, now I have to do like, I guess this is the icing, kind of, because I, my ideas are like the cake, Victoria's Fun's gotta put on the jam and stuff. I'm gonna stop with the metaphors. Like I can literally not speak English at this point. I everything is just going <laughs> out the window. I would yeet my phone away, but I'm not going to because I don't know, time lapse. Oh, like I, I got a new phone case. You could have seen this in my recent, in my recent plunt video. Look at the aesthetic, look at the aesthetic. Also this just makes my heart happy. I'm gonna time lapse this. And I'm also gonna time lapse my laptop. In terms of like volume of work, watching someone type is one thing, seeing what the fuck they're actually doing is another. It's also very very satisfying. So have an hour on the clock, can't do more than that. I keep trying to do two hours, doesn't work, I get really distracted. So it's almost much more efficient if I work an hour and then reward myself, which is probably what everyone else does anyways. So see you on the flip side. <laughs> And I have dun, 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 dun. I have ten thousand words. Uh, I'm conflicted about this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't believe I actually got exactly ten thousand. I had to stop in the middle of a word. I thought I had seven thousand, and I was quite happy with the fact that I had seven thousand while I was writing my other essays because I didn't have to think about getting up to a word count. My worry has always been writing too much. Almost done with actually getting my quotes from Juliet. I need like 70 more pages to go through. A lot of them are very long philosophical digressions. So it's like a lot of the characters say the same things and it's picking who I want to have it 
said by more what is like the most concise way of phrasing it this is all the french i'm actually just typing up everything in english because i have a translation luckily the translation is online i can just translate a word or two that i know is in the sentence then i'm gonna command f my way through that and then like copy and paste it really easily so this is the, like the labor intensive bit i'm only gonna do the quotes that i'm 100 percent gonna keep my mum is coming tonight thank god because that woman has to tell me how the fuck you do an appendix they've told us do an appendix I look everywhere, there are no decent resources that tell you how you do an appendix. Is this like an assumed thing? I don't understand. Am I supposed to like numb my appendix, say where it goes, say what it does? I don't understand. Ow. My friends don't know either, so we're all just here like, the f <coughs> That's the one thing is when you're in conflict, you're like, I'm on my own. Four days to just stitch it all together. I'm less bothered about my secondary quotes now and everything that I have from other books, pile of books you'll sit on top of. Much more gonna be describing what happens and comparing plot points um, and thematic things. So I think I'm okay, I just need to like, you know, get, get with it and use all of my actual time that I have during my burst. This is the last thing. This is the last thing. I just wanna get it done. A lot of my friends are finishing theirs now. Different unis, different departments, so I'm just kind of like, I want to be done with mine. I'm repeating myself and I know I'm repeating myself and luckily that is a good thing, but obviously you need to go through the entire novel and take out the good bits before you can actually decide which are the best bits. This is why I have a graveyard, obviously. If you don't have a graveyard, you should do it. When you're writing an essay, you open two documents and in one of them, you delete all the stuff that you don't want to use, but then you'd have to delete it and be like, shit, I needed that, because I do drag things back and forth. I'm trying to think about why he treats, this guy treats his wife really badly, but then Juliet so well, but then he would never marry Juliet because I think he sees a very distinct distinction between mistress and wife because of the duties that one would have. And that's a good point for a comparison. So yeah. I was gonna tell you when I was gonna go back to work. I'm not, I'm actually gonna watch a new episode of Riverdale because I've worked hard now. So I'd like to reward myself, but it's 40 minutes, so I'll watch 20 minutes, do another hour of work and watch another 20 minutes. I'll get it done. I'm gonna stay up till 2 a.m. because I make terrible life choices. Good morning, it is, what's it, like 10 a.m.? I don't know if I slept well or not. My parents arrived last night. They were literally here, and now they're gone again. So I'm like, bye. I didn't finish copying up from Juliet, which is really irritating. I only have a few pages left. I'm gonna sit on my bed and do that. Oh no, I'm blind. What the fuck? The water over I'm just gonna Also, another thing is that I have, once again, quit sugar. I quit sugar back in January. And it went okay, it didn't go, I caved a few times. The only thing now is like I have quit, I've still got a box of like, wheat bix so once I finish this, then I'm not gonna eat anything else. Maybe I'll have to do an extra week because I really wanted to make a video on it. It was January and now it's May. That happened. So much pent up creative energy, but I just have to like use it on my drill. So I love this. This is a great mug. This is a great mug. Economically satisfying. Today I'm gonna continue coffee up Julia quotes. I finished the introduction to my introduction, but now I need to like finish my entire introduction. So. <laughs> Bean juice of life. This is the soy milk I drink. You can get like barista versions of it. I really like it. And then the other one I alternate with is I just like normal hazelnut Alpro. I really, really love those. I will still drink milk, but like my only one my mum buys it because she's like, Meh, you only have soy milk and hazelnut milk. I want real milk. She justifies that by saying it's the taste, and I'm like, mm. I'm now going to go sit. In my bed, I really couldn't open my eyes this morning. I was really trying, I was like, like hmm. I'm gonna ban myself off YouTube and I'm gonna, yeah, in the words that we've called will eat the phone away. I just need to focus. I'm so scared if I don't focus. I have four full days to finish this. I have 10,000 words. The main thing that I'm really pleased about is that I've got a good structure. Should I read you my structure? Why am I weird about showing this? I always tweeted earlier that like, well, yesterday, that like, because I'm obviously talking about sex. I'm saying this because that one's a bit I needed a synonym for Arnold. I don't really want to read that. In my essay, one of the things that's in the text is masculine maiden head. I'm gonna give you five seconds to try to figure out what masculine maiden head means. It's an anal virginity. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? What's that thing? It's so weird that you don't even think that these things are concepts, but they are. I mean, 
Foucault is it Foucault on the discourse you should because like you can't comment on something if the idea of it doesn't exist yet that's why you can't necessarily say that texts are like feminist you have to say they're proto-feminist because like feminism as a thing does not exist yet so it's like oh yeah and then I typed an own little into the thesaurus and it was like there's no, no search results doesn't recognize this word I'm like wait what so I typed in sodomy and it was like no search results I'm like wait what and I typed in buggery and it's like no search results I'm like fucking hell I know you know I know you know and you're deliberately being green I can't be like a fucking th th a fucking thesaurus would not just be like impartial to the words because oh yeah it's people but like it's a thesaurus I need to know what it's bizarre to me and yeah I checked the Oxford thesaurus and thesaurus.com and they just both were like don't know this word fucking liars in other news look at my poots coriander and parsley are doing very very well time doesn't care chives isn't even thinking about it. The rocket sprouted really well and then it shriveled up and died and now I have this uh, leaf. That was like the only thing I wanted to sprout and just not doing it. And these are some, my string of pearls. They were very shriveled up so I put them in here and they're unshriveling up which is really good. They are, oh wow you can see that so well. Yeah, they are sprouting. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick them back in the top of my spring of pearls. String of pearl, fuck and then make the top fuller and then recovered. I should almost know better than to sit here at this point. Basically, it wasn't working in my room. I associate bed with what well, YouTube videos. I associate desk with uh, my impending doom. Also, all of my notes for my dissertation are like stuck right there. I can't like avoid them. This bitch and up. <sighs> Clearly, I associate yellow with being productive. Oh no. One of my vitamins. Got the multivitamin, got the omega because it promotes brain function and I would really, really appreciate that right now. Anyone else? Do you see that? My hair is caught. Anyone else with glasses? Oh my god. Ow. I'm glad I don't have to wear them all the time. Quite funny as well, my mum is reviewing an article and she had to message me being like, Emma. What do you know about Pamela? Well, mummy, I, I know a lot about this stupid book. Despite the fact I've never read the entire thing. This is so much more interesting. It's like a cultural artifact. It was literally so popular. It's called the Pamela Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Is it name? Phenomenon. Phenomenon? Pheno fucking hell. I can't. It's like all I can do is type. I can't speak anymore. The Pamela Phenomenon. Pamela. Pamela Phenomenon. Oh my Pa we make fun of my dad for this. This is so Pamela phenomenon, 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 phenomenon. But like this is a didactic novel. It's weird because it was so popular, but it's like it doesn't seem real. You read it and it's like meant to be like, oh yeah, you can be a virtuous woman if you like don't like take any of his advances, and then you like if you like tell your master no, no, no enough times and eventually he'll marry you to like legitimize his like lettering and all that. So it's like, this is like hikey abusive. One of the main things in my dissertation is any portrayal of virtue, the woman gets treated incredibly abusively and it's just like virtue doesn't work out well for anybody ever. And it's like the only people who have the guts to say so are Roxana and Juliet. Virtue is terrible. The main thing, I even wrote it in my dissertation just then to like get it. Down, it's like if you want to look at it as in like a generalized binary thing virtue and wife go together and vice and mistress go together Being a wife is just a terrible situation to be in to be honest in the 18th century Which is why it's understandable like the best position you can be in in the 18th century as a woman Is essentially that you've married a rich titled man and then he dies That's why Madame de Marte in Dangerous Liaisons is the woman you want to be that's basically the point of my essay, like, the point of my essay, but I need to just, it's like all of my ideas are now there, I just need to actually write them. I think I should probably dip into Wollstonecraft a bit, get some more of that sweet, sweet secondary reading. My laptop isn't even in here, for God's sake, Emma. <sighs> I don't know how to behave anymore. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and block myself from going on YouTube. Now I'm on free people because all of their stuff is apparently really good for the environment and stuff. So I'm like, I want a kind of cool environmental dress and shit, but I don't have a hundred pounds to spend on a dress. I'm legit gonna just block myself from this right now because this is getting real fucking ridiculous. <laughs> This 
Is that literally all the websites I go on? I waste most of my time on YouTube and Twitter. TBT to when it actually used to be Tumblr. I haven't been on Tumblr in such a long time. Uh, I don't even know if my blog still exists. If it did, it's like six years old now. Oh, I'm gonna block Netflix. Netflix while I'm on this. And I don't know where my phone is and I'm gonna keep it that way. This in is kind of, in a way kind of is procrastination, isn't it? I can't really like block you and the whole point is to include you because I feel like you all need to know the mental breakdown that writing a dissertation is. It is just a prolonged crisis. Like, that's what this is. There's obviously one more website that I can add, but I'm gonna keep this PG, so we all know. <laughs> Unless you don't, and if you don't, I'm not gonna tell you. Moments later. I wish you'd have just seen or heard that. The mailman literally threw my mail in. Threw it in. <laughs> threw the, okay, very aggressive. You're having a bad day at work. But I'm also just really happy because my, my boss texts me being like, can you do these days? And I've been, finally been able to say like, yes I can. But yeah, I can go back to feeling like a grown up and it means that I'm not allowed to make unemployed jokes once I finish my dissertation because then that is just what I am. So I've done this literally. The first thing I will do is apply to the thing that I had my epiphany for. So I really hope they're still taking applications because otherwise that would be bad. Basically found something really important. One of the biggest struggles is because I am writing about money is comparing and converting money into like present day buying power to give you an idea is incredibly difficult. Obviously it's important to know the money they have because they talk about it all the time. Like you wouldn't mention it if it wasn't important. And I remember reading it when I've read both of these before, I was like, I really wanna know how much money that is. Everything makes more sense when you know how much money that is. And I finally, finally um, typed in the right words to find, because historical currency converters exist. I don't necessarily recommend the ones that try and do loads of different currencies. They tend to be a bit sloppier. You wanna, preferably if you could find a bank of mm -mm -mm that's got one, that is usually the best thing. I was really hoping like Bonk de France would have one. No, but I found a converter for money under the Archene regime, which is perfect. There's one point where Juliet is like, I now have a rich man. Um, I'm not gonna accept, cause she like, you know, prostitutes herself out a bit. Obviously it was important, but she kind of does it cause she like enjoys it. The whole point is that like, she's now, she can now be a kept woman cause like her lover's really, really wealthy, but like she doesn't want to, she like still wants to do it for, and I quote, pleasure and profit. So then she says to her like mistress, like I will not accept less than like 50 Louis for my services minimum. And I can, apparently that, is about 1,700 euros in today's money. I don't know how today that today's money is. You can kind of get an estimate, like if that's what she's gonna charge minimum. I feel like that does check out. I feel like that does make sense. Like if you don't need the money, but you still kind of wanna do it. And if you're gonna do it, you wanna have money for it. Like that seems like a fair enough amount. There's just one bit at the end where she steals a watch pile of money and a diamond and because he sets the three things in front of you you assume she's gonna pick one right no she takes all of them i like that one because i was like yeah sounds like a test for limits why did i think she would why did i think she would pick one obviously not she would just pick all of them i think that's a really important one um because somebody hangs for it she doesn't the whole point is that she doesn't and deliberately gives someone else up for her crime and it's like a couple of times so you're like yeah she's not a good person why am i trying to idealize her she's not a good person roxana as well isn't a good person she's not as bad a person but she's not a good person either so it's like mm. yes yeah, so i found the conversion that's really really important i actually did an hour solid of work without whining to myself again now I'm like, okay, the internet only exists for this purpose and now it's clicked my brain out of it, which I'm really annoyed about. Why didn't I think about this two months ago? Like it's so hard when it's talking about money. I'm like, I don't know how much money is that is. Ugh. I'm also trying really hard to like be very selective with my quotes because I just don't have time to go through all of this text. I have 10,000 words. I have enough to write and I have enough to put this all together, but obviously I just want to add more. So I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna go through the novels as well that I have. I'm just gonna write down the big text and then I'm done with it. Then I can chuck them on the bookshelf. This is where I want everyone to wear them. This is my pile of done books. I don't know what it means to be on track because I don't actually have a track. So I don't know 
Like when I'm done, I'm done, you know? But I think this is going well. Let's keep going. Ten seconds later. Okay, this is also why I blocked ASOS. Don't worry, everything I bought was not plastic. My hands are actually full of dirt because I just repotted two herbs. Don't tell Chris who bought me herbs for my birthday. I think I planted a lot of them too low down. I kind of had a look through the soil and they were just like slightly moldy things at the right at the bottom, which means that basically I, I didn't follow the sprinkle of compost on top. I just heaped quite a bit on. So they all suffocated. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is so cute. I am in summer mode, can you tell? 100% viscose. Viscose is a semi-synthetic thing, so it will actually break down. It's made of like cellulose, very cute. And then the other two things, they look similar, but I promise you they're not similar. You really wouldn't be able to tell. Procrastinating on point, thinking about my graduation outfit. This is like a halter neck. You can't see this because it's black. This one is like a plunge sort of v things with this other black and white poofy skirt that i have if you scroll through my instagram it's somewhere oh my god this is such a baby picture of adam it's that skirt i would wear it with that top but the thing is because they literally say careful with dresses and skirts because they can ride up aha uh -huh. not if it's a bodysuit <laughs> that's my master plan is if I wear a bodysuit it can't ride up so I'm not might give me the wedge of a lifetime um but it won't ride up so that's how I'm gonna win <laughs> that's how I'm playing the game <laughs> when the system playing the game I need to write this is my break my break was like a half an hour in that half an hour instead of going online and getting trapped I repotted two herbs don't tell Chris you're telling me so adamantly don't kill them and I'm like I killed them because I just didn't plant them at the right height but you know you live and you learn. I won't show you them because you're just gonna have to wait for that that graduation bit. I'm literally like thinking of like, I have like three different videos I'm gonna do surrounding graduation, so. Yes, okay, right. I'm gonna try this on when I get back to work. 8.01 p.m. Good evening, it is almost eight o'clock. I'm having, I'm gonna have my dinner now. Ooh, it's actually the lentil curry that I made at my birthday and it's like frozen leftovers. Um, it freezes really well. Got her. Hydrate, I realise this is so bad. Um, I'm ashamed to admit it. I literally hadn't eaten since the like, bowl of cereal I had this morning. Um, hence the enormous plate, because I'm like, I need sustenance. I've finished my introduction. I am shocked at how easy that was to write for me. I was like, la la la. I think the fact is I've spent so much time with both these texts that I'm kind of like, I know exactly what I wrote right. And I just have so many like ways of proving it that I'm like, I need to do this now. Starting to write it now, I'm gonna write my next section is power. I'm basically going to explain in what way that I'm actually gonna use power. It's basically almost part of my introduction still. I emailed my dissertation supervisor about it and she even herself mentioned, oh yeah, by the way, maybe you should do that. And I was like, oh, well, I've already, I've already started doing that, but yeah, I definitely need to do that now. If you think about it, power is always relative. You on your own are not powerful. You only ever have power overall, like to someone, if that makes sense. Like if it's just you on your own, you're not you're not weak but you're not powerful either um it's when you're suddenly in comparison to someone else it's like it has to be someone else or something else there for you to have power if that makes sense because i'm going through like sex marriage and money the ways that those are all like different forms of power sex seems to be one of the most legitimate forms of power at least in the 18th century that a woman can have over a man that's kind of a gist the only catch is with that i was wondering about like male fantasy and like I think Juliet is the epitome of the male fantasy, especially like sexually. That's why this whole genre of like feminist porn exists in the first place. Just the whole thing that he even says that like, I'm a woman, I submit to you. And like, he's like, no, 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 you're, you're powerful, you're powerful. But you serve me and my friends, but to everyone else, you're a despot. So the idea is like, yeah, you can be powerful, just never more powerful than I am over you. So I'm like, aha, that's interesting. So my goal now is to finish the section on power and arrange all of my Juliet quotes into my structure. Tomorrow I will do all my Roxanne quotes. Luckily though with Roxanne, there are very little philosophical digressions, I guess for so much more action. She very rarely ever says any, <laughs> not that she rarely says anything of substance, but like the plot is really easy to like rehash. Like I don't need to like page reference stuff for that. I can just say, well she does this, she does this, she does this. And then the quotes where she does say something, it means so much more. The first quote of my entire um, dissertation is actually, one of hers. She talks about marriage and just makes you a slave. Juliet and Roxanne are both, but oh, this is a brainwave. So Juliet and Roxanne are both seen marriage as a form of slavery. That makes so much sense. Yeah, I need to write that down. Thank you for my brainwave camera. I hope you enjoyed that audience. Now, Emma, great essay. Even though Emma that I'm talking to has submitted her essay, bitch, I cannot wait to be you.
I love this, I'm enjoying this, but I am done! Bye. Did I literally just say in a clip that you get more aggressive? When the camera's on. <laughs> Adam again! Early the next morning. seven o'clock Sunday this is it on Tuesday I officially have less than 40 hours to finish this little really oh my god it's so close I'm more excited than I am nervous though how far am I at this is my essay structure I don't know which essay structure I'm showing you because it will have changed I've done my introduction power the mother and I've done the reader and all of my other sections are very very chunky by the end of today I want to have finished Fortune and my conclusion. I've actually written already the last line of my dissertation and I do think it wraps it all up very well. All I did was just point blank ask myself one more time, what is the question of my dissertation and what I think the answer is. Just very, very like point blank. This is my thesis and this was my answer. Because obviously you don't need to explain it anymore because you've just done it. So you just want to like summarize like this this and I went in and like used their whole titles in the end bit to be like, look, this is what they gained from this. As much as I would use all of um, Roxana's titles, that would be taking the piss because she has um, quite a few. The Lady Roxana is not even her own actual legal name in any way, shape or form. Once I've sorted those out, then I have polished 6,500 words, 65% of my essay. One and a half thousand words over though, so that's really not good. I mean, I just need to do some serious chopping. Because that's 15% over, which if every 5% we lose a mark, so that's three marks I'd be losing if I submitted that, which is just not, not my style. I don't... <laughs> I can't afford to lose any marks by trying to be small. Like, you going okay? Mm -hmm. I went to the Starbucks, not too far from me for the first time. I know I would have gone to a local cafe, but it's Sunday. They can't be relied on to stay open very late. And I was quite proud of how focused I'm able to be in that time because I can't even go, can even, well, you his internet, but it was a faff to go on. And obviously, there were people next to you, so you don't want to go on like any procrastinating sites. Obviously, this is what happens in the library. The only catch with the library right now is it's May. You think you're gonna get a seat in the library? You're wrong, unless you literally turn up at like seven in the morning. Like I'm not, not about that life. Um, I also resolved that I am, a <laughs> plan is I will actually read the entirety of Juliet. Um, I think I mentioned it, I'm only actually doing the first volume, which is still 200 pages because it's a thousand pages long. I think that would make it the third longest book that I own. I haven't bought it, I have a digital copy of it. Michelle Montagne's collected essays, War and Peace, and then it would be just Juliet. Like, I honestly don't think it gets the credit it deserves just because it's got quite a lot of sex in it. I reckon it makes just prude. Well, no, but like, why? I should think it should be more widely studied. Very interesting if you want to do gender and queer studies. Very, very interesting. I was quite happy with how I redefined, managed to finally get my definition of power. That was all tripping me up because I'm like, theory, theory. But I settled on like a Machiavell Machiavellian definition of power that the means always justify the ends. So it doesn't really matter how diabolical a thing you do, as long as you get the power you were seeking, it's fine. Which works really well because Juliet Girls, people! Whether Roxana has Suzanne, her d eldest daughter that like appears and starts to like threaten her um, reputation and stuff. It's ambiguous whether she has her killed in the end. Um, so 
Roxana is a much more complex character than Juliet. Um, I think Juliet is very like, I'm gonna test the limits all of the time. You see her sort of become more one dimension, two dimensional as this volume goes on, but Roxana is constantly contradicting herself. She's constantly doubting and she feels a lot of guilt and she feels a lot of um, shame. But then she still does it anyway, so it's kind of like, okay, but then what, where do you actually stand on this? I'm just really, really enjoying my dissertation. And Roxana will always have a special place in my heart. And I'm gonna write the Wikipedia page on Juliet because it's just not very good. It is linked down below, I believe I said, but just have a look, it's really crap. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna change that. Did I mention Adam is here this weekend? I'm just I'm just texting him, like, huh, I'm a little love of brother as her. Do you hear that noise? Oh, I had a coffee at this point, I'm like this. I did tweet at one point, oh, we're talking for seven minutes. I did tweet at one point, well, like, having to edit me after me has had coffee is the, it's much worse than editing drunk ever. This is my least favorite ever to have to edit, to do myself a kindness, I guess I will shut the fuck up now. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember writing that. <laughs> but it's not wrong. <laughs> it's, I don't remember writing that, but it is something that like, that is very true, I think, for both of them. Like, for any strong woman, you need a strong man to like, deal with it too, because they just can't, like. Oh yes, I've just noticed that I have now gone over 11,000. Now I am only 400 words over the word count. Word counts stress me out. It's not too bad now, it's not too bad. If anybody wants to read my dissertation, there it is. That's literally all of it. You can see, this needs work, this needs work, this needs work, this looks good, this looks good, this needs a, what, what is that? That needs a lot of work. Starting to look okay. This is the current state of his dissertation. Just, just this now. It's getting somewhere. I have completely finished two thirds of it. Two thirds are like, done, 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 dusted. I need to edit them, yes, but they're submittable. So that's good. Now I just get to talk about sex and marriage. So that'll be really fun. I feel like my idea, it's very simple with each section. It's just I have a lot of like evidence and then other things I wanna say. So it's a question of making sure that I like rehash that so and yeah i mean i would aestheticize this shot you know just sort of put my hair up nice and like roll my covers down and sit up and this is the reality of the situation my camera is there i could pick it up but i'm on my phone <laughs> 
Okay, I decided that was lazy even for me, so let's go have breakfast. really got 60% of my essay done, which is really, really good. Just due in tomorrow. Still do have over 24 hours, so that's okay. Probably not gonna sleep tonight, if I'm gonna be very honest. Because <sighs> my three main sections are obviously sex, marriage, money, which is fortune. That section on its own is 2,000 words. The other sections have subsections, so I think that's really, really good. It's the kind of thing, like, I'd be fine if I knew I had one more day. And here's the thing, like, you can start as early as you like, you'll always find yourself wishing you had one more day. <laughs> Yellow. Oh, and I've put it all over the place. I still have pizza. Two slices of pizza for breakfast. <laughs> when you're essay writing, you have to say incredibly nutritious and delicious. I'm failing as a human being right now and as a vlogger but like I don't know how much more I can offer you aside from time lapses of me being actually productive than just this. Right I'm gonna micro the pizza and then I'm gonna go back to work. Conclusion is done. 67% of my essay now. Getting somewhere and we're getting there quite fast now. The reason I've done my conclusion now is because then it's a lot easier to see where I want to take everything. Like if I start with my end point, I'm like, okay, I can kind of work myself back. I've just accepted that I'm not gonna sleep. That's fine, I don't need to sleep. <laughs> In other news, actually, my other wisdom tooth is coming through. It's not pleasant. I don't have any up here, but this one is partially erupted and I have this one, so it's like, are you fucking kidding me? I knew this one was here, I knew it was gonna happen, but I'm just like, why, why now? Why right now? Having them partially erupted can be quite dangerous. They can be like dangerous and you risk infection. So I'm like, I need these removed. <laughs> I've got to work. Later. This is not dissertation related, but it is book related. I don't know how many of you this is going to mean anything to. Oh my God. I can't believe I have this. I don't know how many of you watch Shannon Rose. I've been watching her videos for maybe four, maybe five years. She got really famous doing a lot of like story time videos about when she um, used to work in porn. So I just find her like fascinating as a human being. This is about her porn years. I've had a love-hate relationship with YouTuber books. Honestly, I'm not expecting the most incredible literary work I've ever read, but I'm expecting this to be very, very entertaining. I'll let you guys know how I got on with this. I am so excited about this. Thousands of tears later. Hello vlog. So my parents are here, which is really lovely. I am so close to being done. I'm trying to do the sanction sex, the war, the mistress. I'm doing well, but it's like I'm doing a little bit of one, a little bit of the other. Chuck here, chuck there. So I can't be like, oh, I've done all this. It's more like there's little bits here and there. I'm deleting quite a lot now because I've done the rest of my essay. I know what isn't isn't relevant, but I worry that I just sound like I'm repeating myself. My mum earlier complimented me. Spelugger. 
really wonder how much sleep I'm gonna have. 22 11. Let's do this fucking thing. That was an appropriate way to start a segment. I'm almost done. I didn't do it all later. I need to cut a few hundred words. Just finishing off a bit on the male fantasy and feminist pornography. Yeah. Basically done. I'm just so excited to be free. I really love my dissertation, but I am almost free. That was it. Those were the last words I had to write of my dissertation. I'm now gonna just edit the entire thing. I have five hours to edit 10,000 words. I'm really excited to read it because part of me is like, what did I write? It's been very painful just like having to cut things when you're like, oh, but I wanna talk about this and you're like, Kr. but also very satisfying. But they're also really annoying because you're like, look at all this work that I did. My graveyard document is 20 pages long. My my graveyard is longer than my actual dissertation. My graveyard document has 8,000 words. I probably wrote in total for this whole endeavour, maybe 20,000 words, and then I had to cut it by half. I hope I don't read it and think it's crap. That would be incredibly irritating. I guess I can only see you when I'm finished. <laughs> A little later. I'm done. Oh, that's weird. I'm done with my degree. I've completely done with my degree. This is a strange feeling. What the fuck? And I submitted 3.30, just not even 3.30, doing very well. I actually submitted it as a PDF because I'm really, I'm just checking the format now because I was worried about all of my pictures moving. <laughs> There we go. Lovely. There we go. That's my front cover. <laughs> I am like point like this is how's it looking at oh. Oh. oh look at it. Oh it's my baby. I mean how did all the appendices come out? Okay, ah oh, look at my conclusion. Oh. oh fuck off. This is so irritating. Did the pictures move? Look at my massive appendix. Oh, come on. They're in the wrong place. Whatever. I can... I can live with it, maybe. It's over. There went the deadline. I'm... If they give me my degree, I'm a graduate. If they give me my degree, they will. They... There's no way they wouldn't. <laughs> oh. I've run out of words, <laughs> quite frankly. I've just run out of them. Hello, good evening. Thank you very, 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 very much for watching this video. This is the longest video I have ever put out there. The rule of this video was three hours long. It was really weird rewatching this video. I really enjoyed my station. I'm bummed that it's over, but I still haven't finished my application to the other thing that I'm applying for, but I just need to like finish a bit of my statement and then I'm done. So hopefully that's my master degree. Um, but yeah onwards and upwards. I just, I just hope I do well. I get it in a week for my walk. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you an insight to what it's like to ride a station. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, woman doesn't feel powerful with a knob in her mouth being like, I can bite this off and end you right now. Um, <laughs> I'm supposed to be working, can you please go away?